This conference is the one I visit every year in the UK because it's the, the political tone for whatever happens in wave and tidal in, in UK waters. I remember six, seven years ago, we held the exhibition for the Wave and Tidal Conference in the foyer of a hotel. <laughs> and now you were regularly here at the Queen Elizabeth II Conference and Exhibition Centre because we need so much more space. Anybody who's anybody in the industry is represented in this room here. You know, we don't just have experts, we have the leading experts in the world. We can talk to them in a good environment and uh, get access that would otherwise be hard to obtain. It's a lot of fun. The networking is probably one of the most important points. Uh, if you're not here, then you're, you know, you're not part of the industry. It's not a jolly. It's here to actually do business. And that's what we do is business, you know, and, and that's why it's so important we do. To have a stand as a hub. Uh, and to be able to uh, you know, talk to people, um, exchange business cards and then follow up afterwards. Crown Estate is delighted to be sponsoring this important conference for the third year running and one which I, I believe has become uh, an annual highlight for the industry. A lot of the sessions are, are policy focused but I think that that's correct because it's what Renewable UK's main uh, activity for the sector is. We get to air our views on what we need as a company and Renewables UK are doing their best to, to make those things happen for us. The UK is currently leading the world in terms of uh, wave and tidal development. But we can't be complacent. There are a number of governments globally with significant aspirations. We came to learn from the UK, who is the uh, advanced country in terms of marine renewable, because Japan is about to start. I see the competition that there is emerging from the Far East and the Americas, and I know that unless we redouble our efforts, that lead will just slip away quicker than we realise. It's interesting to look from the outside into the UK market to see how this is developing. The only sad thing for me is just as I understood the rocks, they changed it to strike prices and I have to do my studies all over again. I'm a device developer. I come from academia originally and one thing that struck me about this conference is the really unified approach that's now being taken by both academia and industry pulling together. It's been a very good experience, lots of uh, you know, interesting angles, lots of interesting uh, conversations and meeting lots of interesting people. If you want to know what's going on in Wave and Tidal and UK leadership of the world in these technologies, the Renewable UK Annual Wave and Tidal Conference is the place to be.